and stormy this evening. Yeah, the rain and storms are slowly weakening as they move toward the east. But look at the view right now from atop Red Mountain over the city of Birmingham. We're down to 88 and the wind has shifted to the north at 7. But until that rain gets into the city, it's still feeling like it's in the 90s. So there's the leading edge of the rain cooled air. It's already hitting us here atop the mountain. You can see the uh, trees swaying in the wind there. The heavier rain is still well to the west of Interstate 65 and it's weakening as it's moving in. You can see other heavy downpours over North Shelby County, Southern Jefferson County, and another one fairly a hefty one close to Mount Olive in the northern part of Jefferson County. But the rain that's coming into Inslee and passing over Hueytown and then rolling right up into communities like Fairfield and Powderly, Titusville, Homewood, Mountain Brook. This is not quite as intense as it was just about 45 minutes ago. This, on the other hand, is a downpour right on Shelby County Highway 11, uh, just up Highway 11, headed toward Chelsea uh, north of Ballantrae, uh, going right up toward communities like Oakland Hills and into the south side of Chelsea, close to Chelsea High School. Rainfall rates here 2.7 inches per hour, and it may rain for a solid 30 or 45 minutes. So we're looking at at least an inch of rain in this spot on the south side of Oak Mountain and then right on top of Double Oak Mountain. Heavier rain uh, still expanding down through South Shelby County and into Chilton County, too. In fact, uh, this storm that's approaching the city of Clanton right now, lots and lots of lightning with that. It's too dangerous to be outdoors when lightning is in the area. And if you get that notification on the WVTM 13 app that it's within 10 miles of where you are, time to pack it up and come inside until that threat has passed. Now, what happens for the rest of the evening is this line of thunderstorms gradually starts to weaken as it approaches Anniston and Gadsden and Pell City and Talladega. I don't expect a lot more widespread heavy rain tonight, but we will be watching what's going on up to our northwest because this batch of thunderstorms that comes out of Missouri is going to leave just enough energy in the atmosphere, even as those storms diminish to kick off more thunderstorms tomorrow morning, potentially across North Alabama to start the day. Might see a shower or two in Birmingham, Jasper, Coleman by 9 a.m. Saturday, but there's a much better chance north of Highway 278. So Marion, Winston, Coleman, Blunt, Etowah County, Cherokee County northward. And then by early afternoon, this band of thunderstorms is coming in. That will leave enough energy left behind to kick off even more scattered thunderstorms through Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. And although it looks like the rain is very widespread, I think what we're going to find is you get about an hour's worth of rain and that's going to be about it. And then you may get another downpour in the afternoon or early evening. So that's why temperatures are in the upper 80s to low 90s tomorrow. You can see we start 76 at 6 a.m. That is just awful kind of humidity. 91 tomorrow afternoon, a 50% chance of a downpour, the high close to 92 on Saturday. Sunday, some more afternoon thunderstorms are possible, but because some slightly drier air comes in from the northeast, look at the heat index. We only see it up around 95 in Birmingham and Clanton, 97 at Brent, but 101 at Montgomery. Well, there's a better chance of downpours south of the Birmingham area on Sunday and Monday as well as Tuesday. Not looking like a lot of storms, and that's where the heat starts to build. Highs in the 90s, lows in the 70s all week next week. You're watching WVTM 13.